Kevin Durant just hit a slam dunk, baby. With Pepperonier West sitting courtside. <laughs> it's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yes, hello and welcome to this installment of I'm Ashamed to Admit It, but this video was inspired by Nick Accato Avocado. I won't lie about it though. Very transparent here. That said, he did have a spread of Wendy's recently and a Shake Shack spread that I will admit he gets way too much food. It is ridiculous. It could feed a child orphanage uh, in third world countries and he probably throws most of it out, but I cannot lie that it did make me crave a burger. And so I just could not get that off my mind. And I was like, I have to get myself a burger. So we ended up with the Wendy's burger. And then lately I've been on this crazy kick of every time I'm going to any fast food place, I'm so into trying their crispy chicken sandwiches. I'm just on this crispy chicken sandwich kick. And I have the good fortune to, in Canada, we have these chili cheese nachos from Wendy's now don't think that they are that fancy you know that I took it to this level by adding, adding sour cream Valentina and pickled jalapenos so that's blessed these are blessed the rest is going to be a mess in here so I'm ready for it uh, also going to disappoint you beyond the Nicocado avocado inspiration with a glass of water we are not pouring today I'm trying to wean myself off of my sodas right now. I just, I need to do it for personal reasons. I'm fine health wise and everything. I just noticed it's getting excessive and I've found myself getting addicted to it. So like I said, when things are rough and I see things getting out of order in my life or something that's kind of fucking with my vibe, I just reel it in. So we're switching to water. Sorry if you hate it, but I need to do it for myself because I'm a self-respecting YouTube sensation okay I definitely want to start with these because they are definitely getting the coldest of everything and they are just sog job 9 trillion at this point because they have had to take a ride in the uh, skip the dishes guys car so delicious nonetheless I may even take it as far as to eating nachos straight up they have gotten this mushy with a spoon and I honestly think there is like hardly any nachos in there I think it's mostly a thing full of chili and that they ran out of chips and they're trying to dupe me fine I'll accept it that's totally what happened here there's no chips in here barely it's just chili now the question is do I be a fussy little bitch or maybe they all just shifted that could have been possible too maybe the driver dude they're all clumped together maybe he was driving like a maniac and they all just shifted to one side very possible I'm not that type of person I don't make complaints like that I just chalk it up to a unfortunate little not great preparation of food circumstance take it as it is and just let it lie because the fact of the matter is to be a complaining little bitch like that like a Karen like a manager haircut Karen eyeliner chick it requires more effort 
I have more of my energy to consciously go into that negative shitty state. And actually just get mad. And raise a fuss and a stink. Over something that's really not that big of a deal. In the grand scheme of a human life. On planet Earth. I'm here for chili cheese time, not a long time. If you're catching my Tokyo Drift. Because they're so good. It's chili cheese. Do you even got a choice? All right, so like I said, the inspiration from Nikocado, I just needed a burger. And this is the Dave's Bacon Classic. A single with lettuce, tomato, pickles, onion, ketchup and mayo. I need it with extra mayo though. And ketchup. Because why? Can you guess it? I'm a saucy guy. Case closed. All right, where's the magic bite? I think that's it right there. The high corner, ready for attack. It's that Wendy's bacon, man. Wendy's bacon. Always just comes through in the clutch. It's the best fast food bacon. Hands down, point blank, period. Now, I've noticed a lot of comments recently, fairly recently, but over the years, saying people love the way that I eat sandwiches, burgers, sandwiches, subs. I've touched on it once in the past. I think it was in a Q&A. One of my pet peeves. It's because I respect the shit out of sandwiches. And what I mean by that is it's cradle to the grave, y'all. You gotta cradle it. Both hands. If things are shifting, jockey for position, get them back where they need to be. Alignment. Ratios, spiritual chakra, burger, 
energy bite alignment is what it's all about you sometimes see these people out here just one hand in it doing this the twisty upside down letting it slide and slop amateur hour no 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 This is not how we conduct business. Before we get into this next chicken adventure, there's a cleanup on aisle six. I got enough sauce violating on my landing strip. I'm a master of the custodial arts. You're a janitor. <laughs> Thanks, Dick. Okay, so this sandwich is the chicken, ranch, bacon, lettuce, tomato, Asiago cheese, beautiful bun. I asked for extra lettuce. We're having a lettuce nightmare here, so we're going to have to reconfigure. I did ask for extra lettuce, but the way in which it landed on the berger is not, uh, not my favorite. Also... A tomato reconfiguration is required. I do like that they gave me extra, but I need it to go on full bun coverage. Like I said, you guys, it's about respecting the burger. And once again, saucy guy. And I need you to know the tomato mayo technology exists. And when you put mayo directly on the tomatoes like that, it's a whole new ball game, baby. I bit my cheek. It hurt. On that first bite, there's a stray piece of lettuce that I couldn't get into my grasp, which made me freak out and then tighten up and then bite my cheek. So eating is a dangerous uh, activity. That's why you must respect your burger. You guys really thought I'd show up to a chicken sandwich party without my ranch? You thought wrong. You bet your bottom dollar I'm out here leaking liquids all over this <laughs> chicken sando. I gotta always try a bite with ranch. While the mayo was good, Kevin Durant just hit a slam dunk, baby. That's all I'm saying. With Pepperoni West sitting courtside. <laughs> Inside joke from my last pizza video. If you haven't seen it, go watch it now. Oh, and if you haven't yet, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And click the notification bell. Just so that when I upload, you can get notified that I've uploaded. Oh yeah, and follow me 
on Pinterest and Twitter and TikTok. And all my socials. But for real, follow me on Instagram. Because I need to get it up. <laughs> I gotta get verified on that bitch. I gotta get up to 10k. Still such a large journey. But if you could, please go to my Instagram. I'm begging you. <laughs> Hoodie Noir. H-O-O-D-Y-N-O-I-R. And also, if you have a heart, I make music. And uh, there will be a link down there to my most recent song in the description and in the comments. And uh, hit me up on Spotify, though. Run me up a number on Spotify. You know what I mean? That would be lovely, too. All right. Cleared the board. It was perfect. Great Wendy's hit. Great crush. Great meal. Enjoyed every second of it. It's having a little fun jam with ya. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.